boom. Okay, this should work this time. Boom, like this. So I got this nice menu area. I just made it in two seconds. Boom, let's try and we're back. Again. Today we're going to be making a cutscene tutorial. So we're going to be making like a cutscene, not really a cutscene, but more like a main menu. So we're going to have a camera angle somewhere. Uh, so whenever a player joins, they're going to be um, brought to, like for example, a scene or something. And then it's going to be like some buttons here or a menu, like for example, play. Um, so yeah, that's what we will be doing. It's gonna be more of a simple tutorial. I might do a part two. I most likely will do a part two on how to move the camera while in like a main menu thing. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be basically doing a main menu thing with the cameras. And yeah, we're gonna be manipulating cameras. This is what we'll be doing in this tutorial. So, actually, we need first uh, server script and server script service. Now, there's two ways we can actually do this. Now, you can make a local script inside the player and it will uh, repeat every time a player dies. But let's say we don't want that. Let's say we only want it when the player joins and that's it. Um, and if you want, maybe you can repeat the code. Um, actually, if you want to put it in server script service and if you only want to use it once when the player joins, you would probably have to either disable the script or remove it from the player's character or from the player. Um, so it won't repeat if you don't want that. Um, but since we might, I mean, you guys might be using or repeating, um, or not repeating, but reusing the code um, for the main, the for the menu, you might just uh, use the server script, and then you can just keep this uh, this a uh, local script uh, in case you might reuse it. So the reason why we need a, a server script is so we can fire client. So whenever a player joins, we fire this function for the main menu. Uh, well, it's not really a function, but we're gonna fire an event. So first, we do game the players, the player added, connect function, and then player. Player is the player that joined. All right. Actually, before I forgot, I forgot one more thing. Uh, now the model is gonna be in the description. I'm gonna make this into a model, so don't worry. Uh, so remote event and replicate storage, and then we're gonna call this <coughs> intro. Actually, can be also an intro too whatever an intro let's say main menu whatever let's call it menu menu okay let's make this into a variable local remote equal game dot replicate storage dot main or oh, it's not main menu okay okay so this is the remote we'll be firing and then we can fire this here remote fire cl remote what the hell does not work? Remote, I didn't spell it right. Okay. Remote, remote fire client. So it fires to the player's client, of course, because you want it to fire to the client, not for the server, because you only want it to make it the changes for the player's screen, not for all the player's screen in the server. And then player. I think that should be it. Okay, that's literally the probably easiest part. Now, when we fire the client, okay, let me save this, whatever. Let's just save this, uh, whatever, untitled game. Well, let's call it, okay, whatever, too late. Doesn't really matter. Oh, shoot, did I accidentally? Oops. Okay, whatever. I just published the game, so I'm so dumb. Anyways. Let's say you already have the game published. You don't really need to publish this game for this. Whatever, we're gonna make a local script now. Um, actually, in case we need a screen UI so we can make the buttons. Just gonna make a play button real quick. Text button. Text button, let's put this, I don't know where you can put this, but if you can put this like in the middle. So we're gonna do 0 0.5, 0 0.50, uh, no, not 0 0.5. Let's keep this at 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0 0.5. 0.35 maybe. So 0 0.01, 0, 0 0.35, 0. Maybe lower this a bit down on the y axis. 4, 5. Uh, change the size you want it scaled. Let's try 0 0.2, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5,
Zero point two, I guess you can say zero. Mm, make this a little bit. Okay, let's go to the text. Let's make this play. Uh, I like Gotham Black or Gotham Bold. Uh, text scaled. Make this white. Background transparency. Okay. Let's say this is our thing. Maybe we can put some, if you want, text stroke transparency. All right. Actually, maybe this one look that good. Actually, we might want to put go. Isn't this something? Let's actually pick. This might look. Yeah, this probably looks better in caps. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no clue. Uh, whatever. You get the idea. You get the idea. Whatever. Okay. Actually, no. This doesn't look good. Whatever. So this is our play button. Now let's start with the actual script itself. So from the local script, since we fired the client, we're gonna get that event that we fired, which is the ma the menu event right here, the remote event, the main uh, the menu remote event that we just fired from the server when a player joins. So let's get that remote event again. We're gonna get the remote event game that replicate sword that menu. Okay. So remote on client event, sorry, dot on client event connect function. So, uh, okay, let's play. All right. The remote is the room event we fired from the server. We got, this is on the client, right? And we connect this to a function. Don't think we need any parameters. Let's get the local player. Local player equals game dot players dot local player, and we also want to manipulate the camera, obviously. So we'll do local can equal game dot workspace dot current camera. Current camera is basically the camera that the player can move. So usually when you join a game, so let's say we join a game, uh, it should work. Uh, there shouldn't be an error. So this is the camera. Okay, let's actually I'm going to show you right now. So the player. Um. So this is recur right here. As you can see in the explorer tab, right here. And then, as you can see, the camera type, camera mode is cl wait no camera. I should forgot where is this? Maybe it's not here. Oh, sorry, it's in the workspace. In a uh, camera, camera type is custom. So this is what we'll be changing. The camera subject is also the humanoid. So the humanoid is literally a part of my body, and it's also custom, meaning I can change the camera. So this is the camera. I can change around my body and it moves with my character um yeah this is also field of view so you can change all of these stuff i don't know it's not really necessary so you can change like this yeah pretty cool um but that, that's what we'll be uh manipulating today all right so we've got everything now let's say this is we didn't actually make anything in the function so that's what we're going to do we're going to make a part so we can kind of use it to make the position of the camera I'm gonna show you what happens and what you'll need it to when as soon as we do that. So let's say we have the part, this is gonna be our camera part. This is where our camera will be positioned. Cam part. Let's make this 0 0.5. And we're gonna make what we're gonna do is actually gonna make oh sorry, and make this oh I forgot, I forgot. Uh make this anchored one. So cam anchored most importantly and yeah okay let's make sure it's anchored so we're gonna have like three parts here let's say uh, not here okay whatever so this is gonna be the yellow part actually oops forgot I think I need this to be anchored too this will be the red part so we can detect which uh, which way we are facing and this will be the blue part and this will be oops this will be the green part this is so we can demonstrate which way the camera is actually facing let's make this here so okay whatever doing there um so this is the camera part how do we change the current camera to the position of this part so i'm going to easily do now before we do anything make sure you do 
Uh, actually, we might do a repeat. I'm not sure. It might not work, so we might do a repeat. What are uh, cam the camera type equal enum that camera type uh, that scriptical? Make sure you have a scriptical so you can actually change the camera position and the properties of the camera through script. That's why we do that. Um, it might not work if you just do one line, so it might do a repeat loop. I'm not sure. I've, I've seen that before, but I'm saying in case it doesn't work, you might use a repeat loop for that. Uh, and then you do cam dot c frame equal game dot workspace dot cam part. We're gonna make a variable for this. So local cam part equal game dot workspace dot cam part. Let's do here cam part cam part dot c frame. Forgot to do that. So cam dot c frame is basically position value. It's it's basically position really. C frame is this position. Um, I mean, it's obviously more complex, but uh, let's see how this works. Let's see, we can do a repeat loop if you want. I'm not sure if this should work. Uh, let's see. No, I think it works. Uh, did I do something wrong? Uh, yeah, for some reason. For some reason. Okay. Remote on client event is the menu. Player the player added connect function remote fire client. That's weird. Fire client on client event connect function. Uh okay, that's weird. Um looks like it doesn't work. Can the camera subject Is current camera repeat? Wait one. So I'm doing the repeat loop until camera to camera type equals. That's weird. Okay, I'm not. It does it is? It do be wacky sometimes. I'm just saying. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. It works. So I just did the repeat loop, and it actually works well. I was right. It does sometimes be wacky. I wasn't wrong when I said that. So as you can see, it's facing it's facing the yellow brick. Now, why did I do this? The reason why is because whenever now let's say we know this camera is facing this yellow brick. This is where it's facing. Now you might think, okay, well, you can rotate this, right? Well, you're wrong because no matter how much you rotate this, it won't. And I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna prove it. Right. I'm not even joking right now. It does not work. Let's see. Okay, let's actually reduce. So point one. Oops. Point one. So let's say we rotate this or whatever somewhere else. It actually won't work, believe it or not. So we're gonna try it like right now. Oh wait, it does work. That's weird. Whatever, okay. At least it's more... Oh, I swear to God, that's weird. Whatever. Apparently it does work. I'm not sure. I think it's with tweening it doesn't work. I'm not sure. Because when I tween the camera position... So basically tweening means when you move the camera. When you move the camera position, you might might not work when you rotate it. I'm just saying it might not work. Because you're using C-frame while tweening, using a tween uh, function. Or using tweens, basically. Uh, but I think if you're just using the C frame, uh, I think it's it's fine. Whatever. That's for part two. That's for uh, our next video. We're gonna be diving uh, diving deep into that. So don't worry. So I guess that's pretty much it. It's very easy. This is just when the player joins, right? That's it. Now, what we can do is actually do a function. So function, uh, I guess, camera face or main menu main menu i guess function i don't know make anything honest i don't care and literally we can just do this uh copy paste this we don't really need this and then we can just call this function main menu <sighs> so the reason why we do this function is just so we can like if you want to use it more than once it's, it's going to be easy you're just going to call this function and yeah that's pretty much it now the play button okay easy so play button is going to make a variable for this 
So local play button equals create dot parent dot play button. Okay, play button dot parent uh, play button dot mouse button one, mouse button one click connect function. So when whenever this button is clicked, you can set the camera to the player's uh or set the set the camera to normal, which is basically you set the C frame uh to the player's um it's the player's humanoid, humanoid root part or we can do actually it's not really a C frame we don't really set the C frame when we want to change the camera uh, camera position to the character or we can just do actually we can just do camera dot camera type equal enum the camera type the custom which is basically the default camera type when it's um, on the player and that's pretty much it uh, cam the C frame the camera subject was well, if we set it to custom it will automatically um, go back to the player so we don't have to worry uh, that's literally it and can or play button play button play button dot visible equals false then we're gonna copy this in the function uh, maybe sneak in here play button dot visible equals true yeah and then okay oops yes set this false uh, in the beginning I'll set the visible set it to invisible right and we play it boom uh press play boom easy just like that uh so maybe we can just put like some random stuff here like i don't know let's put some like a, a noob or something i don't, I don't know a <laughs> noob uh i don't know what which which way is facing it thinks facing this way right this is just for the just for the thumbnail, honestly. Uh, okay, let's put this here and make the play. I want to make the play button more look uh, more good looking. So let's set this. Let's set the what's it called the visible to true again. Okay, that has to be better. Okay, this definitely should be a better. Maybe check stroke transparency is one again. Nah, put it to zero. Has to be a better way. Play now. Nah. Oh. Play. I just want to set a good font for this. Gotham. Pretty much same thing. Fantasy. Cartoon. Bondani. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. You're gonna go, you guys can choose for yourself. Honestly. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Um, let's make a bit. Oh, what the hell? What is this? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh my God, why does it do that? Okay, we're just gonna size this up, up a bit. So we're gonna do two and then move this over a bit. Point five. Point. Oops. Point zero five. Like that. And you can make it a frame or something. I don't know. Maybe you can. You can do that, I guess. Um, maybe just make another frame, I guess. I'm not sure. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna really decorate, so I might just fast forward if I can. nice menu area I just made it in two seconds boom plus probably and we're back in the game so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you want more definitely be sure to like and subscribe uh, I might be making a part two uh, what do you guys think trying to make a part two and if you want join our discord server and yeah that's pretty much, that's pretty much it uh, I'll see you guys in the next one